All right, sitting here at my table, and what we're going to do is we're going to understand and put together electronic air valves. These are quarter inch. They're just little tiny ones, but this will work for any size electronic valves that you get. It's really simple. There's a magnet in here. And there's a shaft that goes down in the center, and when you put power to it, it magnetizes it, pulls the shaft up, allowing it to open and airflow through. If you look at the bottom, you can see the direction of airflow right there. See, this one's got an arrow on it. That shows that the air flows through from this side and comes out this side. These ones I got on uh, eBay. A friend of mine, Airbag Joe, told me about them. I didn't know about how cheap these are. These are super cheap. A lot of you professional guys will be like, no, those will go bad. Well, for $10 a pop, I don't care if they go bad. I can buy an extra one. But if you want something that's going to last a lot longer, see, I only use mine on the weekends, so it's not going to be that big of a deal for me. For you guys that use daily, you might want to go ahead and upgrade to something a little bit better. Um, let's see what they are. Yeah, that's what kind they are. Whatever, all right. This is the way it works. You have an air supply that comes into the first valve. And you have a T that goes right there in the center. And then this goes out to the air bag. Now, the way this works is the air comes in. When this opens, it allows the air to flow through, come through here, and out to a single bag or a dual bag, which that would be for the front of your truck or the rear of your truck. If you want to do all four, corners then you're going to build one of these for each corner of your truck so like i said this goes out fills up the airbag allowing your your truck to go up then this closes and holds that air in there because you've got another one on this side when you want to air your truck out this valve opens up and releases the air back out this this side doesn't hook to anything it just spritz the air out and your truck drops back down to the ground uh you're gonna need some teflon tape i happen to have pink teflon tape because i'll I guess i like the color pink um when once you get it done this is a completed manifold that's it that's called a manifold because that's what they call it so there it comes in here goes through Fills up the airbag, comes back here, open that one up, releases it. Make sure you pay attention to the direction of the arrows on the bottom. That way, everything works the way you want it to. Some people ask me, where do I get my airbags from? This is where I get my airbags from. Check those guys out. They're real nice people. You can get my stickers at itsgoodtobethekeng.com. And uh, that's the kind of compressor I use. That's the kind of magazine I read. That's the kind of phone I have. <laughs> anyway, you get the point. This is how an electronic uh, air valves work. There are two wires per valve. You have a positive and a negative wire. You send power through here, and then that turns that on. So that's all you got to do. Take one of these wires and connect it to a ground. The other two wires go to your switches one switch per valve unless you're going to use them all at once so anyway there's that explanation thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions uh, please leave them in the comment section below if you need links to any of these places uh, look at the uh, description box down below and uh, all those descriptions will be there our uh, links to these places and uh what the? I hope I didn't get her. No, did I? What are you doing? <laughs> Thumbs up for my crazy wife. All right, that's it. Go build your manifold. Next video, hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll be able to put these on my truck because I'm getting tired of not having them on there.